It's a brand new ball game. <laughs> I really need to talk to you. Well, be quick, I am busy. Well, we had a little trouble at Truman High School today. Morning, gentlemen. What is this teacher's name? His name is Shane Hampton. Any weaknesses? He's got family. His wife is a doctor and he's got a little boy in second grade. Once you learn how to... This is no ordinary history teacher. This is a warrior. Fifteen years in the martial arts. Black belt, five different styles. Special forces tactics instructor.
Hello. Send him in. Hoffman? This is Andrew Morgan, the president and national security advisor. So, what do you boys at NASA make of this? <clears throat> At present, the angle of trajectory is 36.4 decimeters with an inertial force magnitude of 128 megatons. Now looking at the coincidental court plus graph, you can see and taking into effect the drag code. You cut to the chase. What's it mean? Uh, it's going to crash into Los Angeles in about two and a half hours. What about the nuclear reactor on board? Most likely, it will explode on contact with the planet's surface. In 1982, a smaller nuclear-powered satellite, one of ours, uh, crashed into the western area of Antarctica. And the entire area, for a radius of 47 miles, was contaminated with lethal levels of radioactivity. Fortunately, that area was uninhabited by human beings. Well, we're lucky then. There are no human beings in Los Angeles. Only cockroaches. In just a few moments, convicted killer and cult leader Thomas King will be leaving Superior Court on his way to maximum security prison. Officials have refused to disclose the location of the prison as followers of the fanatical cult are bringing him out of jail. stethoscope on my chest. How else is he gonna check for your asthma, honey? He can at least warm it up first. Anyway, I can't miss the game today. John's high school's playing Vermont. Honey, it's Vermont, and your cousin's gonna have to handle the game all by himself. You have to go to the doctor. That's the plan. But, Mom, this is a very important game. If they beat Vermont, see this. Much better than my hologram, girl. Well, maybe I'll see it after the game, all right? All right. You know where the lab is? See ya. See you later. King is rumored to have special hypnotic powers, which he uses to convert unsuspecting people into followers of his bloodthirsty cult. Of course, we know that hypnosis doesn't quite work that way. Um, he's out. They're leading him down the uh, courthouse steps in chains. You have all damned yourselves, and now the judgment is come. He's over at the high school watching John's game. Maybe I should get over there. 
So what's your plan of action? You do have one, don't you? To kill it. Space. Now, hold on, hold on. There is a nuclear reactor on board that satellite. There could be fallout. Uh, I mean, who knows what the results could be? I mean, there have to be alternatives. Alternatives? There are no alternatives. This is going to be taken care of by Star Wars. Strategic Defense Initiative has never been tried. I'll notify the President. to the earth. Yes, sir. I understand. <clears throat> General, the President wishes you good luck. That's nice.
the hell's going on. Commander, what's happening down there? Seems to be some sort of energy pop. Should we uh, turn it off? No! Increase the intensity of the beam! Oh my gosh, what have we done? Shut it down. Abort the mission. Impossible. There is no way to stop it. Are you okay? I, I think so. What's happening? I don't know yet, Sakiko. Nobody knows. Nancy? Kenny, where are you guys? John, over right here. here. Hey. Kenny, you okay? I don't know. What about you? I'm all right. How about you two guys? We're okay, but I don't understand, John. What's going on? Why don't the lights come back on? I don't know. I think the earthquake might have knocked the power out. Hey, Kenny, you're breathing kind of heavy, right? It's just it's my stupid asthma. Every time something happens, it acts up. What was all that blue light? Listen, we should go find Coach Jackson. All right? Kenny, you stick close with me. Let's go. Richard, you all right? Come on, wake up, man. It's all right. It's all right. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but it's all right. Just hold down. What are you guys doing? Hey, look, can't see he's hurt? If I can give you any help, just get out of here, man. Come on. Get What's happening? I don't know. You'll be all right. Let me help you. cooperation here, folks, because there are only two teachers here besides myself and Mr. Martin. But why can't we just go home? My mother's expecting me at 6 o'clock, and if I'm late, she's going to have an absolute fit. We can't let you go home until we have some word from the outside. Right now, all the phones are dead. The power lines seem to be down all over the city. It is too dangerous to let anyone outside. Well, this is just great. Do you know how to hook up the emergency generator? Actually, I was hoping you did. Great. Did you hear what they said about the generator? Doesn't sound like you know how to turn it on. Yep. So we're stuck here in the dark like everybody else. I'm scared. How'd your head feel? I'm okay. 
Well, see if you can find any transistor radios. Anything that runs on batteries. I want to find out what the rest of the world is doing. Good idea. me if you're in here. Let's go back. I guess. Ouch! Damn! Paul. Here we go. Paul! I'm busy right now. Come back later. Paul, didn't you feel the earthquake? What are you still doing here? I don't think it was an earthquake. It didn't feel like one. What do you think it was? Well, there were some strange bursts of light before the building started shaking. Could have been a comet, meteor, World War III. Paul, do you know how to turn on the emergency generator? The emergency generator? Sure. Piece of cake. Well, would you do it, please? I told you, I'm busy now. I'm putting the finishing touches on my ray gun. This baby's gonna work. Here, take a look. Fresh. You want to see a demonstration of this sucker's power? Maybe later, Paul. Right now, we have to deal with reality. Oh, I am dealing with reality. This is very, very real. Take a look at that beaker over there on the table. Paul, please. Please do this later. Huh, watch this. And save your applause till after I win the Nobel Peace Prize. Juice. I'm gonna have to charge this up all night long. And how are you gonna do that without any power, Mr. Scientist? I'm gonna turn on the emergency generator, of course. How else? Oh. Did you find them? No, coach. Well, look who's here. Where have you people been? John, I expect more responsible behavior from you. Sorry, Coach. Have you seen Greg Bell or Terry Adams? No, why? I was hoping they were with you. They disappeared around the same time you guys did. I'm going to go look around outside for them. Maybe I can flag down a police car with a radio. John, you should come with me. Right. The rest of you, go back to the classroom and report to Miss Herbert. Coach, uh, we'll go with you. Kind of spooky down here. This is going to be even more of a piece of cake than I thought. And there was 
was light. He found the generator. the box wild of an animal i must have scraped against something while the whatever it was happened good shots in here this is great bells i'm sure you're showing them off in the locker room the other day the screams we heard before what scream when we snuck out to look for Paul, we heard screams outside. I didn't hear anything. Maybe we should all go back inside and wait for him. There doesn't seem to be one. Anyone allowed here. John, you and Otomo will get him back in the car. We will check him. beautiful small princess she shall become my queen and you shall help me by bringing the rest of the children to me won't you yes my lord Basketball coach. This is way over my head. Maybe we should talk to Mr. Martin. Okay. You and Atuma will check on everybody in the cafeteria. And don't breathe a word of this to the others. Is that clear? No problem. Just go back down to the cafeteria and stay there with everybody else. I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Sure, sure. Come on. John? Yeah? Keep your eyes open. Some pretty weird stuff going down around here. Same goes for you, huh? Happening. 
evening. Find anything? What are you going to do with that? Everybody, listen up. I have something very serious to tell you. Mr. Martin is dead. What? It's all very strange. We don't know quite. I just don't know. We'll have to keep one guard at each door. Six shifts of one hour each. I'll need 11 volunteers. Who's had any experience with firing a gun? Okay. Okay, good. Matsu. Yeah. Let's go look for that missing girl. Coach, if we're going to be here for any length of time, we're going to need to do something about the food. I mean, I I've searched this whole kitchen and there isn't much. We'll deal with it tomorrow. Right now, make sure everyone gets some sleep. You're in charge here while we're gone. You figure out who gets the first watch. Does everybody have enough food? Here, you take this. I'll be back in a second. Hey, big guy. What are you so quiet for? Huh? Mom's gonna come and get me. I wanna go home. So don't worry. Uh, it'll all be okay by morning. You just lie down, get some rest. All right? Everything will be okay. I'll be back in a little bit. I should have gone to the doctor's. How else is he going to check for your asthma, honey? He can at least warm it up first. Anyway, I can't miss the game today. Everybody's name is on this except Kenny's. It's like 
they built a memorial for us. But why isn't my name here? What about me? I don't know. Miss Herbert. Where have you been? I was looking for you all over last night. Hey, good morning, sunshine. We were just having a discussion about whether we should have pancakes or French toast for breakfast. Do you have feelings about the matter? What the hell is going on here, Philip McGowan? Don't look into their eyes. Me. The log's vengeance. And recompense because it is up to the Lord to judge his people and then to repent for his servants. <laughs> Matt, Matt, wake up. Wake up, Matt. Release those students now. Matt, go get Miss Herbert. I am thy refuge. Come, 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 come unto me. No, and swear by my name. And then I will say to you, destroy! No! This man's a killer. He killed Principal Martin. Jane, all of you, wake up! Don't listen to him, he's evil! No, no, please!
Charlotte Island, why do you mistrust me so I can feel the distance between us grow and makes me very sad.
I looked behind me and he's gone. Some rest, huh? John. I'm scared. I don't want to die here. Don't worry, man. You'll be all right, huh? Okay. How come I get so little food? Otomo's orders. Look, there obviously isn't that much food left, so with those who are stronger, get more. They shouldn't get more. The sick students should be first. Those sick kids are just gonna die anyway. Strongs get the most. Survival fittest. You're a bad person. We need to take care of each other. I'm in charge here. You don't like it, you can leave. What is this? What the?
do you think you are deciding who can eat and who can't? We're all equals here. Sorry, dinner is over. Come back tomorrow. Look, you don't decide when we eat or anything else. That's right. I'm in charge here. I decide who eats and when you eat. I even decide when you shit. Hey, man. Kids are getting sick. That could be you in there. I'm already sick. Sick of you. Why don't you, sissies, get out of here? Ultimo, a good leader shows compassion. I got some compassion for you. Hey, man. Get off! Sam, I got him. Take it. Ah, Come on. Come on. How long do we go without food, huh? How much do we survive without medicine? And then what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Hey, get away from the edge. It's dangerous. I'm gonna jump. Hey, you were... You were there, weren't you? Look, I want to talk to you. Your son was one of the children at the school, wasn't he? Yes. Do you think that, that maybe, somehow, that those kids are still alive? Yes, I do. I have to. Expecting to be strong for someone else? attempt at destroying a nuclear-powered satellite is behind the disaster, uh, which was carrying a onboard nuclear reactor. So at this time, no one can say what actually happened on the schoolyard that warm spring evening. My mother is doctor in Japan. This sink looks like, how do you say, pneumonia, I think. If we don't have medicine, they will die. Well, isn't there any medicine in the nurse's office? No, just aspirin. Also, 
they need food so their bodies can fight sickness. Right, yeah. <coughs> hey, how are you feeling, though? I'm okay. Tapes of old news broadcasts. Paul. Paul, did you get this old equipment to work? I mean, if we could watch these tapes, maybe we could find out what happened to them. Well, if we had a source of power, then maybe we could hook up the monitor to the VCR. Hey, I got it. We could use the power pack I made for the laser yesterday. Do you really think it's going to work? It's worth a try. Give it a shot. Let's go. All right, you're hooked up here. All right, Kenny, pick out a tape. Um, let's look at this one. All right. All right, here we go. Come on, power pack. All right, here goes nothing. send ourselves back. Something. 
antibiotics. We need antibiotics! Oh, come on, man. Come Keep on. cooking. I am. There must be something wrong with the machine. We'll fix it. Come on. Show's over. Well, the medicine must be in here somewhere. We'll just have to search it out. All right. Let's do it.
Hasta luego, baby. Doc, how are the patients today? Much better. The medicine is working already. Thank you so much, Sakiko. We're really lucky that we're, you're here with us. I'm better. I'm hungry. Hey, big guy, how are you feeling today? John, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All you guys were living in houses made of stone and mud. 
You were farmers, and you were growing your own food, and you were starting a new world here, kind of like pioneers. So where were you? That's just it. I wasn't here. I was watching over you, like maybe from heaven or someplace like that. Well, listen, I like heaven you're around, so don't go anyplace, OK? OK. OK. We can kill it! Jesus, Paul, you scared everybody half to death. Listen, I checked out the composition of Cain's body cells. You won't believe it. That creature out there, I figured it out. What? It's a human being. Huh? What? It's a mutated human being. It may have taken 100 years, 200 years. There was some huge, humongous nuclear explosion on Earth, and it wiped out all life as we know it. But nothing seems to hurt it. You're wrong. That laser stung Miss Drugly pretty bad. And it killed King, and he was becoming one of them. All we need now is more power. More power. That's like saying all we need is a 7-Eleven on the corner. Well, I got news for you, Paul. There are no more 7-Elevens. There is no more power. There is no more anything. <laughs> I know a place where we can get all the power we need, and then some. What are you talking about? There's this cave. Well, look, it's easier if I just show you. But the thing we have to decide is, do we want to try and kill the monster? Let's kill it. Listen, let's siphon the gas from Martin's Buick into the Jeep. It's almost empty. saying that whatever's in there is going to make the laser gun powerful enough to blow our friend away. Blow up the smithereens. Well, let's get going. You never know when a company might show up, guys. Stop him! 
enough juice for one of us to go. What do you mean? We used it all on that monster. You think he went back to the world we came from? I don't think. I know. How do you know? We could have sent it to some different dimension or something. Look, Mr. Scientist, there's no guesswork involved here. This is all based on precise calculations. Let me put this into layman's terms. If you have a window, and it's locked, and you don't have a key, what do you do? You pick the lock. That ray gun is my lock pick. So what you're saying is that we can go back home through that same window? We could have gone home through that window. 
The window will be much smaller now. It'd have to be the smallest one of us. Kenny, we have something very important for you to do. Yeah? We're going to send you back to your mom and dad. I don't want to go back. I want to stay with you guys. Kenny, that's what John would have wanted. Kenny, you have to go back. You're the only one who can help us. Your mother is missing you. I don't want to go back. Kenny, we're going to use the laser gun to send you back. Let them know that we're still alive. Okay. Now, Kenny, stand over there. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Kenny. Kenny, you take care, okay? And don't forget about us. Be a good boy, Kenny. Sayonara, Kenny. I won't forget you guys. Go ahead, Paul. Shoot me. chosen few. Please accept our contribution toward the building of a new and better world. We know what a tough job you all have ahead of you, but we have faith in you. Our prayers are with you always. Your president, Kenny Scott. Keep the faith, guys.